Spotify is synonymous with the music industry today. But if you consider that over 15 years ago, their disruptive goals were much smaller and much more immediate. What they were actually trying to do was give access to music and provide a better streaming experience for the consumer. But through years of iteration and strategic disruption, they are who they are today. We are going to discuss the strategic disruption of the M Health market. So M Health, mobile health, consumer health, digital health, for us that is defined as any fitness or health app on a phone. As it stands in 2021, the M Health market was worth about $51 billion. By 2027, it's estimated to be as big as $243 billion with an 18% kicker. So needless to say, it is an industry that is growing and worth disrupting. So when we think about the M Health market, there's really two sides of it. You have the consumer, we may refer to them as the user, and you have the service provider, a coach, a personal trainer, an affiliate, so on and so forth. So thinking about the user specifically, in the US alone, it is estimated that there are 68.7 million adults that use some sort of health or fitness app. Of the 68.7 million, 5.5% pay for it. We're gonna be conservative and say on average, they are paying $4 a month to use their M Health app. That means at any given moment, the total available market is roughly 15 to $16 million. What's a good example of a user and an M Health, M Health app? So we'll draw a little phone. Let's call it Whoop, Peloton, maybe MyFitnessPal. What they all have in common is that they are standalone solutions, meaning that this is very fragmented. I have to use multiple platforms, multiple apps in order to manage my, my health. On the other side, as we discussed, there are the coaches, AKA the service providers. Again, being conservative, any given moment, 1.2 million coaches in the US, that's personal trainers, nutritionists, mental strength coaches, really just an umbrella term. That number is probably very low. Of that, it is reported that 98% use software to run their business. Again, M Health. Of the 98%, 7.5% of that demonstrate churn or turnover on a monthly basis. What that means is that at any given moment, there's roughly 94,000 coaches looking for some sort of M Health solution to run their business and engage with their clients. That represents, if we're again being conservative, let's say they pay $30 a month. That represents, uh, let's call it three, $2.83 million in monthly, in monthly spend. What are some good examples of coaching software? We'll call it Trainerize. That's probably the big one in the room. True Coach, I've heard great stuff about that. The one that I respect the most, which is Everfit, came out a little bit later, but does some, some really good stuff. The interesting part about this is, much like the problem over here, these guys are fragmented. Fragmented even more so than the user. All of these solutions have a solution for the coach and a second solution for the user. It is not a single platform or M Health app that manages both sides of that relationship. So again, if you think about the market, the user can manage their own, and if they engage with the service provider, they have to get another app. So the fragmentation of the market is crazy. There's so many solutions to do one thing, which is to improve total health. What's crazy about this is if you look at it, the logical assumption is that if you merge these two, 15 plus three, there's about $18 million in monthly revenue. If you look at that from an ARR standpoint or annual reoccurring revenue, that means that roughly $250 million is being spent if you were to merge those two industries on a monthly, on, on an annual basis. 
If we're using logic, maybe 5x revenue or 10x revenue, that means the value of creating something that connects these two is anywhere from one to $2.1 billion. Again, if the industry is 2.4 or 243 billion, and you can create a platform worth 2 billion, it's probably worth pursuing. So again, using logic, you would probably say that the gap in the market here is some sort of marketplace that connects the user to the coach. And we're gonna call this a marketplace, MP. What's a good example of a service provider and a consumer connecting on a marketplace? Let's call it Etsy, right? There's people that wanna buy things and people that sell things. Let's maybe Fiverr. There's people that provide services and people that need services. We're saying that this is worth $2.1 billion, but Etsy alone is north of 20 billion. So the sum of those parts is far greater, far greater than, than just the, the addition of them, this plus this equals this. So that's probably worth creating, right? There's a gap, fill that gap. We didn't stop there. If you look at the users, there's probably value in user to user or peer to peer marketplace, meaning I'm consuming all of this and I wanna share it with people in my community. What's a good example of that? I don't know, Instagram, Pinterest, Uber. It's a lot of peer to peer information and service sharing that happens out there. So again, if you create this, it's logical to create this, but what if you came over here and you said, well, if there's peer to peer, what about coach to coach? That should exist. Absolutely. So if I think about a platform that would provide service providers providing services for other service providers, I think about Adobe. I think about Envato. Here are creators that make something and they sell it to other creators to use to make something else. So again, if you start to look at all of these and the value of all of these, billions, billions and billions. So you could easily attack this, which is happening today. You could attack this, which is happening today. You could merge these, which isn't happening and seems logical, or you could build a foundation and get them all. That is what we've done. We have targeted the strategic disruption of the entire M Health market. The team app will be to M Health what Spotify is to music. This is built, it's happening, you just don't know about it yet.